Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I will begin by showing my appreciation to the organisers of Lamex 2018, my sponsor, Mark Flagg Livestock and Property at Brelin in New South Wales, and in particular, Young Guns sponsors NAB Agribusiness and White Suffolk. I believe for Australian land producers to be able to turn a profit and remain at the forefront of modern production, they need to consider and address pressures that are currently facing the industry. I believe they are increased consumer scrutiny of food production, the need to maintain transparency and traceability of Australian produced lamb, the current change from quantity-based pricing to quality-based pricing, and the decline in the uptake of lamb production by young people contributing to an ageing producer base. It is paramount that producers are able to ensure the negative impacts of these pressures on their operation are minimised. What producers can do to lessen these impacts is to adopt new technology that assists with management, management and marketing. Now, adopting new, new challenges does bring adopting new technologies rather does bring challenges. Producers can be reluctant to purchase devices, mainly because they are cost prohibitive and not commercially viable and so they don't provide substantial financial benefits in the short term. It can also be from unreliability or complexity surrounding use of these technologies due to isolation or insufficient education. There is a need to make commercially affordable and reliable technology in order to for land producers to absorb, effectively absorb the impacts of these pressures. This, can be, this is a key opportunity in the Australian land industry for people already in the industry or people looking to start careers in the industry, particularly young people, and to bring widespread improvement. The strong domestic and export markets for Australian produced lamb have brought the need to change from quality, quantity rather, live weight, for example, to, to quality. When sell, <laughs> uh, quality, e.g. muscle area, eye muscle area, so when selling for abattoirs. To capitalise on quality pricing schemes, producers would need to make use of on-farm objective measurement tools that provide accurate, unbiased data. Now, this is apparent to producers who have already begun incorporating the likes of X-rays and 3D imaging to measure the carcass traits of live animals. Greater efficiency of production can be achieved as animals can be sold exactly when they meet their target market specifications. Better compliance to, mo to price grids in, a in abattoirs is enabled resulting in additional premiums for carcass quality with the likes of fat and muscling requirements. The, the development of commercially available devices and improving accuracy and image quality is providing industry, industry innovators with opportunities to either contract their services to producers or have a role in further developing this technology. A more educated consumer base has demanded producers uphold a level of transparency and traceability to satisfy consumers who may desire a paddock to plate story and ethically produce lamb. As an industry, we need to uphold the clean green image we currently have in the domestic and international consumer's eye, which is under threat from animal welfare groups at home and abroad. Consumers place an emphasis on ethically and sustainably produced products. These pressures need to be managed by producers who, as an industry, need to commit to improving the efficiency of management of flocks. To adhere to these animal welfare guidelines. An option for producers is electronic identification devices. These devices, which are in ear tag, provide each animal an individual identification number and allow management of individual animals rather than a whole mob. The animals can be traced from, from the farm gate to feed lots, to sale yards, to abattoirs, which has already been legislated in Victoria. To maintain traceability and transparency, Right a national identification database that tracks the origin and movement of each sheep or carcass and cut of meat needs to be implemented. <laughs> the on-farm on integration and a national database would allow increased efficiency of production and can better mob management while offering traceability and biosecurity across the industry. These devices improve carcass quality of lambs in that their growth and performance can be monitored weekly and monthly. The broad spectrum integration of such technology would open up a large opportunity for people who desire to offer services, offer services to manage data on behalf of producers. Furthermore, development of additional technologies that can piggyback or be integrated into collecting, managing or storing data, like Bluetooth tags or for using lambs and automated sheep handlers with tag readers and Bluetooth whale scales is creating opportunities. 
We need to attract innovative young minds to the industry to lower the average age of Australian primary producers and promote industry productivity. This is achieved with new technolog technological integration into production. Producers using technology to assist management and marketing and who are generally more innovative will make careers in our industry more appealing to young people who desire to be part of this now booming industry. Thank you.